Windows has a very useful tool called the character map. The character map is used when you need special characters entered in text. If you don't know where to find them, you can copy and paste them from the character map or you can just enter them if you already know the number for that uh, specific character. Uh, to open the character map, you go to the start button at the bottom. This is Windows 8, so I have to right click to bring up the, the menu. But if you're on Windows XP or Windows 7, you would left click and you would come up with the search there. But as I say, this is Windows 8, so I right click on the search button. Now I can either select search or run. For this one, I will select run. And you can already see that I've had char map entered in there. So we just click OK and char map should open up. Now we will close that down and again I right click on some you'd have to left click we click search and I just enter character map and that opens up the character map again. Um, another way of opening up the character map uh, close that down you can go back to the start button again you can click run and you just put in cmd which brings up the command tool click ok then in the command tool you just enter c-h-a-r-m-a-p and press enter and the charm up opens up click that down so you can see there's a number of ways of opening up the character map the character map in each font setting has hundreds of different letters as you can see as I scroll down and each font set has the same roughly about the same amount of numbers and there's literally hundreds of different font sets so you can see there's th probably thousands of different letters so we will close that down so what I propose to do is show you a way by using a private character editor so that you can make your own character map and select the tools or the fonts that you want to use in a specific document. To continue on from the character map, we're going to look at the private character editor. It actually helps you to create your own map with your own characters or even your own design of characters. To access this it's roughly the same as uh, accessing the character map. Again right click on the start button at the bottom left hand corner of the desktop or if you're Windows 7 or earlier it would be left click. I'm going to do the search first. In any of the search criteria, we would just put in private character editor you can see it's already come up from you so I'll just click on that and that opens up the private character editor with with your actual your own box here but I'll close that down and another way of opening it is again by left clicking this time typing run now whereas the command entry for char was quite similar to the character map for the private one it is E U D C E D I T and click OK and that opens up your private editor. Uh, select code, what we want to do first is to make sure that we're selecting the correct code is shut this box down, go up to file and font links. You want to make sure that it's connecting, you're, you're looking at all the fonts available um, it's a very long list, but if you look at this, the link to the selected fonts, you're only getting a set amount of fonts and the font that you m want might not be there for you. So just make sure that the link all fonts is selected. Click OK. Then go back up and edit and select code. Now again, this is your window that you're going to save your personal code onto. You can see I've already got one in number one so we're going to select number two 
click OK and this is now the editor now to put in to enter an existing character that you want to save you just open up copy character and you can scroll down through all these characters and you can just pick anyone you, you want and I will pick we will pick um, just pick a random one pick that one and click OK there you can see that it's filled in your character editor map go up to edit again save character so that has saved character go up to edit select code and there you can see your character has been put into the, the second box now to do your own code it's just more or less the same apart from we will select number three click OK and I will just do a smiley face and we will click save character that has saved that character and select code and there you can see you've got your little digit uh, filled in OK now if you want to remove this or if you want to delete one of your characters all you need to do this is the toolbar down here with all your different tools select the eraser erase all the stuff go back up to edit and save character then again go up to edit select code and you see it's been removed just click OK to shut that now then to see where your code that you've just filled in appears we cl close down the private editor we open up run and we do charm map ok now this is your character map now all fonts private characters this is where your on your character map this is where your personal designs will be saved you can do the drop down list you can see all the rest of them the usual ones that you would use your personal one comes under all fonts private characters and you would just select the one you want you would enter your char characters to copy they copy it and then just take it onto a document